Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade cryptocurrencies on the KuCoin futures platform. If you want to create an account on KuCoin you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here and you're actually eligible for up to $510 of free bonuses that you can pick up. So just go to the link then click down here on sign up and then you can enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, you will get to this page right here. And the first thing we can do is to enable two-factor authentication. And to do that, we simply go up here to the top right on our profile, and then we go down here to account security. So we click on that, then you will, we will get to this page right here, as you can see. And here we have this point, Google verification. I would definitely recommend you to use the Google Authenticator because then you have a second uh, layer of security. So for you, there will be just a set right here. Then you have to click on it and then you can connect it. And then you have a second layer of security, which is really important for your security of your account. So the second thing we can also do is to verify our identity on the KuCoin account. And to do that, we simply go up here again to our profile and then we go down to KYC verification, which stands for know your customer. So just uh, that the platform knows it's also some regulatory. So um, just so they know that uh, you are a real person and there's no, for example, money laundering going on or something like that. All right. So the first uh, option you can do is just to you know, you know, uh, enter your country, your name and your ID number. And once you've done that, you can use some basic uh, functionality of the platform. You can deposit and use trade crypto and withdraw it. But if you, for example, you want to have higher uh, limits um, for withdrawals as you can see right here or if you also want to use the futures trading platform with up to 100x leverage you also need the advanced verification and if you want to have daily trading limits and if you also want uh, of 70,000 US dollars and you want to use fiat for example you want to deposit with uh, euro or US dollar tether then you need the advanced verification which uh, is pretty simple it only takes a few minutes um, you just have to upload a picture of your identity uh, of your ID and then you also have to take a picture of your yourself and then that's basically is you just have to submit it and then after for example one day it took for me about one day then you will have all these features enabled as you can see you can now use as i did now i'm completely verified i can use all these features um, on the platform all right so now we can deposit and to do that we simply go up here to the top right go to this wallet icon right here and then we click on main account and now as you can see here we get an overview of all the balances that we can hold on our account which is a whole lot all these cryptocurrencies and of course also fiat currencies so now first i want to show you how you can deposit for example euro so you just type in euro there you have it it's a fiat currency just click on deposit right here and then as you can see we have two options the first one is just with a sepa bank transfer you also have the zero percent fees and down here we have all the relevant information that we need so we have the uh, account name that we have to transfer the money to we have the eban right here down here which we can copy and use in our bank transfer and we also have the reference note which we just have to include in our transfer in the reference code so they know that this is a uh, the transaction that came from our bank account so they can accredit it to our account right here on KuCoin. The second option is of course to use uh, your credit card. So you just, uh, there's a 3% fee. So you can just type in the amount right here, for example, $200, uh, 200 euro in this case. And then you can just click down here on deposit. And then as you can see, you have to bind your uh, credit card and then you can type in all your details right here, click on next. And then you can also deposit with credit card instantly right here. That's also really simple. If you use the bank transfer, it will take about one to two days for it to arrive right here on your account. All right, for example, if you want to uh, deposit any other fiat currency, as you can see, you have many different options right here. For example, if you have the Swiss franc, if you have the Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, anything like that. Or of course, if you, for example, if in the United States, you can use the US dollar, as you can see right here, and then you can just use your credit card right here and um, just deposit from here, which is also really simple. So that's one option, but that's actually not all. If you don't have a, an option right here that you are that you like for your currency, another option would also just to be to go down up here to buy crypto and then use a third party. They also offer some uh, other uh, options, for example, Apple Pay. So that's also another option how you can deposit right here. All right, so next up, I also want to show you how you can deposit any cryptocurrency. So you just go up here to your profile again, click on main account. There you get all these cryptocurrencies and then you can just type in anyone you would like, for example, BTC. So you can just go to Bitcoin, click on deposit right here 
and there you have the address that you, which, which you can deposit Bitcoin to right now. Um, of course, if you choose any cryptocurrency, for example, the US dollar Tether, which you can also see I have $120 deposited, you can always uh, use different networks. For example, this is the ERC20, so the Ethereum network, which you can use to deposit any cryptocurrency. But you can, of course, also use, for example, the Tron network, which, which I prefer because it has, low, it has lower fees. Um, so you can also use, of course, different networks right here. And that's how it works. So you select your cryptocurrency right here. You can select your account. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can deposit directly to your trading account if you want to trade with it directly. Otherwise, you can also deposit it to your main account and then transfer it. Uh, doesn't really matter um, and then you can see down here your address uh, because you can choose your network right here and then you get the address for the network you've chosen all right so that's how you can deposit any cryptocurrency last thing i would like to show you is if you want to use so if you have it on your main account you can just see it right here but you can you can't really use it if you want to trade with it uh, you have to first transfer it to your trading account and to do that you simply go here to transfer and then you select the current the coin you would like to transfer and then you can choose from your main account to your trading account and type in the amount you want and then you can easily transfer it and you can transfer it back and forth as many times as you like and basically that's how you can get money onto your kucoin account all right guys so once you have deposited money to your account right here on kucoin and you have it right here we can now use it to trade with it so first um i would recommend you to use uh, the right currency so i would recommend you just use us dollar tether because with us dollar tether you can easily trade any cryptocurrencies you want on the platform if you have for example a fiat currency deposit of you or you have any other cryptocurrency deposit you want to transfer it to us dollar tether you can check out the link in the video description there is also another video that will show you how to do that you just have to go to markets on the spot market and then exchange it i won't go into detail on that but if you have it in the right currency i will show you now how you can transfer that to your futures account and to do that you simply go here to your assets overview there you can see it i already have my money on the futures account um, if you want to do that you can just go here to transfer and then you can say for example from your main or from your trading account to your futures account choose the currency you want and then type in the amount and then click on confirm and then you will transfer the money to your futures account and if you have it on your futures account we can now use it to leverage trade all right so now we can actually go to the trading platform and to do that we simply go up here to derivatives and then click on futures classic then we get to this uh, page, which might look a little bit complicated at the first time, but it's actually pretty simple. We will go into all these features right now so everything is clear. It's actually not that complicated. So first of all, right here on the top left, you can choose the pair you want to trade, the currency you want to trade. In this case, it's BTC, the perpetual futures, with US dollar tether, if you click on it, you can see all the different trading pairs you can use. So if you have US dollar tether deposited and you want to trade any cryptocurrency, go to USDT M futures and choose the, the currency right here that you want to trade. And if you have a cryptocurrency, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum deposited, you go to coin M futures and then you can choose, for example, Bitcoin, trade Bitcoin with Bitcoin or Ethereum with Ethereum. And these are your options right here. So in this case, I have US dollar tether deposited. So I go to USDT. And then I can choose my currency. Let's just stick with Bitcoin for now. Then here I can see the uh, the price chart. So um, this is just um, from TradingView. So if you are familiar with that, that's pretty simple. You can let's actually get rid of that. For example, uh, yeah, you can just look around in the chart. You can draw some uh, trend lines. You can change the color, of course, change the thickness. And yeah, that's really simple to use. You can actually also draw in the chart right here. You can use some indicators. So yeah, feel free to just use the chart right here. It's actually pretty simple and um, yeah. So what you can also do up here is change, of course, the candles. So in this case, I was on the one on the hourly candles, but now I want to go into the one minute candles so I can see actually more what price action is going on right here. And yeah, so that's it for the chart right here. Right here next to it, we can see the order book. So we can see all the selling orders up here and we can see all the buying orders in green down here. And here we can see all of our real-time trades that are happening right now. Um, down here, we can uh, we will get into detail in just a bit. We can see our open position. So if we have a position open, we can see all the details of that right here. And we can also see, for example, the order history. So that's that part. And here on the right side, this is also really important. This is our control center where we can control our trades. Down here, you can also see an overview of all of your assets. So in this case, I have these 120 US dollars right here. And up here, we can actually execute our trades. All right, so let's actually open a position. So we can just go up here. We can 
just click on limit. If you want to set a limit price, you can type it in here. And if you just want to use a market order, you can just click on this flash right here. And then as you can see, it changes to market. So now we are entering the market immediately, which is also what I would recommend you. Now down here, we can uh, set the size of our position, um, which is also, I would recommend you just uh, set your leverage first down here. So as you can see, we have $120 deposited and we can now set our leverage here. So you can use, for example, a 10X leverage, you can use up to 100X leverage. In this case, let's actually just go for a 5X leverage, for example. And we can now um, set the size of our position. We can just click, for example, on 100%, which would mean we are using our $120 times uh, 10 uh, times 5 in this case equals about $570. And this would mean a Bitcoin size position of 0.015 Bitcoin. Um, and this, uh, as you can see, it would cost us $116 only, but because of the 5x leverage, our position will be $570 big. Um, all right, so now we can also set, for example, a take profit and stop loss if we want. Uh, so you can say a uh, price take profit where you want the position to be closed and take in the profit, or you can set a stop loss, but I will show you in just a bit how that works because you can also do that later on. And now let's actually, for example, open a long position. So we're just gonna click on buy long. We get an overview again and then just click on buy. And then as you can see, we have it now down here. That's our long position. Uh, you can also see it with this green little line right here. Right now, the prices are now we can see it. And you can also uh, see here down here, that's your position that you have it opened. All right, so let's go into all of these information that we have right here. On the left side, we can see what type of trade it is. In this case, it's a BTC trade with US dollar tether. We can see the amount, it's 0 0.015 Bitcoin big. We, this equals uh, 570 US dollars. We can see our entry price at $38,000. And we can see our liquidation price. So if we don't set a stop loss and the position goes so much into negative that uh, all of our capital is basically gone, then the position will be closed at $30,000 and we lose the $100 that we put into the position initially. Here we can also see our margin. So that's the money of our own capital that we have put in. We have put in 114 US dollars, which with a 5X leverage. So this um, equals this position size. And here we can also see our profit and loss in this case, because the price just dropped a little bit. We are eight cents um, in a loss right now. And here we can see our realized uh, profit and loss. Um, in this case, this is only a few fees that you have for opening a position. But um, for example, if you close half of your position and you take some profits, this would also go into this realized profit. Um, right next to it here, we can now actually set a take profit and stop loss. So if you just click on this right here, we can now set a take profit and stop loss, which is really useful. So you can, for example, say if we go 25% into our profit, then we would like to close our position and it automatically calculates the price for us, which is $38,900. And if you go down here, this would mean a 28.5 US dollars profit for us. And if you go down here, we can also say, for example, if we go 5% down, 5% in loss, then I would like to close the position. This would mean it automatically calculates the price, which is $37,000. And this would mean a loss of $5. Then we can just click on confirm down here. And now we have our take profit and stop loss set, which is really simple to use. If you click on this right here, again, you can again see, okay, that's the price. You can, for example, also cancel it. And you can see again, that's my profit if it hits the take profit and that's my loss if it hits the stop loss. So this is actually very, very useful. I really like this option. Let's go and confirm. And of course, now we can yeah, leave the position open, however it goes, it may go down, it may go up. Either it's gonna hit one of our take profit or stop loss and then our position will be closed. Or of course, we can also always manually close the position and that's what I wanna show you right now. So if you want to close the position, you can just go here on the right side and we can close the position. And then you just click on market right here and then you can set, for example, yeah, I want to close 25% of the position. I want to close 50% or I just want to close 100%. In this case, I would take an estimated loss of $1 because I just left it open for like two minutes. So it doesn't really matter. But in this case, I just want to close the entire position just to demonstrate you. And then I can just click on confirm down here. Uh, then it also asks me, okay, you want to cancel your take profit because you don't need them anymore, of course, because we are closing the entire position. So we don't need them anymore. Let's just click on cancel order right here. And then as you can see, our orders have been canceled 
and our position has been closed and we are completely out of our position again. All right, guys, don't forget to create an account on KuCoin using the link down from the video description to get the up to $510 of bonus. Just click on the link and then go down here to sign up, enter your details and you are ready to go. As always, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.